Thank you. Thank you. When I think about our relationship, I have trouble finding the words to describe it. It is much easier for me to describe it in feelings. The feeling of completeness when we fall asleep holding hands each night. The feeling of content when we are just merely existing in the same room together. But the most important feeling I've had about us is that our relationship has just felt comfortable and right from day one. You've made me want to be someone that you could be proud of, someone that I could be proud of. You always ask me when I fell in love with you, and I always tell you it was when you made me gooey butter cake on our second first date. <laughs> the truth is, I fall in love with you every day. <laughs> I told you once that I believe we have to love people for who they are, and not who we want them to be. Luckily for me, that's easy, because you are perfect. You look so beautiful my baby. I love you too, don't cry. It's the best day ever. Mike asked me for my permission for Lindsay's hand in marriage, which I never expected, and I thought was so sweet and was so polite. When Mike first came to St. Louis, he pretty much had the Feldman family at hello. I mean, he won us over instantly. Lindsay and Mike were brought together over great distances, and after much Time, not once, but twice. I had no idea at the time that the guy who took me to see Hitman on our first date would someday become my husband. I've forgiven you for not calling me back for more than six <laughs> years after our first first date. Thank you. When you did finally call me back, my life changed forever. to everyone that came here tonight. I know most people traveled pretty far to get here. We really wanted to share this evening with you. We had just met Lindsay, but within 15 minutes of talking to her, we knew she was head over heels for Mike. birthday, Lindsay, Mike, and Ross joined me and we went to the Hotel Del Coronado and I thought this is just such a nice thing that uh, our family has expanded from the three musketeers to now four musketeers. Mike, I want you to know one thing about Lindsay's mother that you're unaware of. She got into her mind she wanted to have a third child and she wanted that third child to be a boy. So Mike, as of today, you've made Laurie's dream come true. We have three kids, but Mikey, please don't push me over the edge because I'm already kind of teeter-tottering. <laughs> the two of you are soulmates and wish you a lifetime of happiness. We love you both. It could not be more excited to officially have another little brother in our family. We may kiss and then we'll break the glass. I've always wanted a brother. Mike, I'm so glad to welcome you into our family. And Lindsay, I'm so glad that in Mike, you also have your perfect match. I knew that you were the person I wanted to marry. I promise to choose you every day for the rest of my life. I vow to always believe in you and help you achieve your dreams. And I vow that I will love you always. But most of all, I promise that I will find you in this life and the next. Because like you always say to me, until death is for quitters. <laughs> Lindsay, I love you always. <laughs>